Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step how to complete all three parts of the Lana quest. Just follow all my tips and you should be able to finish it easily. And once you complete all three parts of the quest, you get these four beautiful secret items. And trust me, you don't want to miss them. All right, let's get into it. To start the quest, head through this green portal in the lobby. Click confirm and you'll be taken into the quest lobby. Now enter the room that says chapter one. From here, head left from where you spawn. Follow these white flowers on the ground to find Lana's house, or just use this video as a guide. Make sure to sprint whenever your stamina bar is full so you can reach the house before the timer runs out. And you can toggle off jump scares if you're like me and don't like them. Once you reach the house, you'll get a cutscene where Lana asks you to find her hidden items. After that's done, head right to this barn. Now climb this ladder and you'll find the blue key on top. You need to take this back to Lana's room. Try to avoid the monster as much as you can, but don't worry. You've got six lives, so take it slow. Head up to the first floor and unlock this closet with the key. Inside the closet, you'll find a camera next to these crates. Take it to Lana's room and deposit it in her suitcase. You'll need to do this for five more items. Next, go to this corner in Lana's room to find the pink key. Grab it and head downstairs to unlock the laundry room. Be careful. This is where the monster usually hangs out. Inside the laundry room, you'll find a pallet on top of this washer. Take it back to Lana's room and deposit it. Now go back to Lana's parents' room and you will find the purple key next to this cabinet on the right. Now head outside the door to the garage. Use the key to unlock the garage door and you will find a teddy bear near these wooden planks. Again, take it back to Lana's room. Now head downstairs to the kitchen and you will find the red key inside this pan. This key opens the underground bunker. Inside the bunker, you'll find a journal. Go back and deposit this as well. Head back down to the living room area carefully and grab the green key from this corner of this room. Now go upstairs and unlock the attic in Lana's parents' room. There's a book behind these crates which you will have to deposit as well. And for the last item, head back down to the kitchen. Grab the orange key in this corner and this unlocks the bathroom. Inside, you'll find a nail file next to the trash can. Once you take this last item to Lana's room, you're done with part one of the quest. You will get a cutscene and will be teleported to part two. Part two is the hardest one, but don't worry, we're getting through this together. Make sure to toggle off jump scares again if you want, and be careful not to step on any glass or other stuff on the floor, or you will alert the nurse. Head left for a bit, and you will find the cafeteria. Inside the cafeteria, you'll find the first map piece on this table here. After that, head outside and go straight for a bit. Then take two rights and you will find room three on the left here. The second map piece is on this second bed. I got lost, so I'm back at the start again. Now head upstairs to the first floor and take a left here to reach the recreational room. Behind these crates, you will find the third map piece. I died, but I'm heading back upstairs. This time, take a quick left and enter into this bathroom. Head to the last stall to find the fourth map piece. I died again, guys. But we are back on the first floor. Now head down this hallway and enter into this storage room to find the fifth map piece. For the final map piece, head directly right from the main stairs and into the nurse's office. Here on the desk, you'll find the last map piece and this will alert the nurse. This next part might be hard if your device lags a lot, but you just need to follow the red smoke to escape the nurse. Remember to sprint whenever your stamina is full. Once you finally escape, you are successfully done with part two, yay. You will get another cutscene that takes you into the trap maze, which is the final part. Now, this is the easiest part of the quest. You just need to avoid the traps and follow these fireflies. Whenever you get lost, pause for a moment to let the fireflies appear and just follow them. 
You can also use this video as a guide, of course. You again have six lives, so don't worry if you run into a few traps. Once you're done with the maze, you'll get a cutscene where Lena turns into a monster, and you'll enter the final boss fight. And don't worry, my tips will make this part super easy. First, grab the scythe and walk into the field. Portals will appear with Lana's doppelgangers coming out of them, and you need to spawn kill them as they come out. Just don't get too close to them. When you see rocks appear, quickly stand on them to avoid the rising liquid. For the next two parts, all you have to do is avoid the red beams and spots. Move to the green areas and use your sprint whenever necessary. After that's over, Lena will come down and start chasing you. Just sprint around to avoid her. When that's over, go over to these rocks in the corner to avoid her next attack. You will not get hit here. Once that's done, rush back to Lena and spam click to take her down as fast as possible. And there we go. We've successfully defeated Lena and saved Lana. Now, you can load back into the game and check out your prizes. Head into this dressing room, click on this trophy icon, and scroll down to see your rewards. First, you get this awesome shield with a toggle to hold it to the side. You also get this super cool crow in a cage, which you can toggle to hold in your hand or place on your shoulder. And you get this stunning dress with a slit that has toggles to have it just as the skirt and to take off the belt. And the masculine bodies get this epic toga outfit too. And Lana will finally back at her desk, though she does look kinda sad and tired. Also, in case you didn't know, the UI for getting your nails done has totally changed. You can now have so many different nail sizes and shapes, which is so cool. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you have any more questions about the quest, leave them in the comments and I'll help you out. I'm doing a massive giveaway when I hit 100K subscribers, so don't forget to subscribe if you don't wanna miss it. Thank you so much for watching, I love you all, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye